Hi, this is Mark. And this is Christine. And welcome back to our shooting scroller tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to have your plane shoot a bullet. Let's show you what it will look like by running the finished game. I can move like before, but now I can press spacebar and I can fire a bullet. I can fire a whole bunch of bullets if I want to. And that's going to let me attack the enemies when we get to that point. So we can unbolt the show game task from our list. Go back to the game we previously left off at. Create a sprite for the bullet in our usual fashion. Name it SPR underscore bullet. Load a picture and you see a large vertical rectangle. Remember again to leave precise collision checking on so that the bullet is not the size of the box when hitting enemies. If you uncheck it, it would make Game Maker think that the bullet is much larger than it actually is, and you would be able to destroy enemies that the bullet doesn't even hit sometimes. Leaving the box checked, we can click OK and unbolt the sprite creation task. Next, we need to create an object for the bullet. Create a new object and name it obj underscore bullet. Make it look like the bullet. The game doesn't do anything by itself, so we have to tell the bullet to move right when it's created. So click Add Event, and then choose Create. The actions you drag in here will happen whenever a bullet is created. We want our bullet to fire upwards, so drag the red arrow movement icon. Choose the up direction, and make the speed something bigger than the plane speed. The plane moves at a speed of 8, so I'm going to choose 12 for this bullet. Now the bullet moves up when it's created, and we can unbold that part. Game Maker keeps track of everything that is created, even when it goes off the screen. The problem is that once the bullet goes off the screen, it doesn't matter to the player anymore, but Game Maker is still keeping track of it. If we fire a whole bunch of bullets, Game Maker might have too many bullets to keep track of and start to slow down. Let's fix that by deleting the bullet when we don't need it anymore. Click Add Event, choose Other, and pick outside room. This means the bullet is no longer on the screen. At this point, we just want to delete the bullet. So drag the delete instance, remember that's the recycle bin icon, into the actions box. Then we can unbold that from the list and we have a working bullet. But we need to be able to fire bullets from the plane. So go to the plane object. Um, click add event and go to key press not keyboard. What will keyboard do? Keyboard will fire a bullet every step that the key is pressed down. So if I hold down the key for one second, you'll fire 30 bullets. We don't want to fire way too many bullets, so choose key press and then let's fire a bullet by pressing the space bar. Okay, whenever we press space, that's when we want to make a bullet. So to make a bullet, go to the main one tab and drag a light bulb in. For the object, choose the bullet. For the X, use 17, and 0 for the Y. Check the relative box. This means the bullet will be made in the middle of the plane. It will look just like the plane is firing the bullet from its cannon. So that creates a bullet on space press. Now we want to test our game. I can still move around, and when I hit the spacebar, I fire a bullet, and I can keep firing them. Great job. Remember to always save your work and ask your teachers if you have any questions.